boys and girls, it's Miss Mignon, and I'm very excited that I get to read to you tonight. I know everyone is getting excited because Easter is coming soon. So I chose a book that I thought would be fun called How to Catch the Easter Bunny. Our story tonight is by Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton. How to Catch the Easter Bunny. I've been working long and hard with all my peeps and crew. We've made the eggs and now I'm here to bring them all to you. That's a nice picture. Looks like the Easter Bunny's workshop. Pretty cool. My real name's a secret. My friends call me E.B. My special job means I must hide my true identity. Look at that very important desk and chair. It says E.B. I wonder what that stands for. Yes, I'm the Easter Bunny and I'm coming to your home. If you have Easter spirit, then you just might see me roam. So happy. The first trap is quite simple. Just carrots on a plate. I'm lightning fast. To catch me, you'll need some better bait. So here's the first trap. Some carrots, and it looks like they're trying to catch that Easter Bunny in a box. But he got away, didn't he? A hole that's covered by a rug will never cause me strife. Have you forgotten what I am? Burrowing's my life. There he goes. There was a rug over a hole, and the Easter Bunny knew just what to do in that hole. He's gonna get away. Now this is much more like it. A fully lit dance floor. I'll do a little hip hop. Then I'll dash behind the door. Look at him here. He looks like he's having a great time. He's not worried about that trap, is he? The next trap is quite clever, made by brilliant engineers. But it's hard to catch a bunny who has supersonic ears. Does have big ears. I bet they hear pretty well too. You want to catch me for my eggs and magic basket too? I've been hiding Easter treats since 1682. Look at that. Some pirates on an island, and there's a ship, and it says E B, and there goes the Easter Bunny. He's getting away. Even back in 1682. This trap nearly gets me, but check out all my hops. Watch me dodge the flying fish and cherry yogurt pops. And he's bouncing here and there and here. Boing! But he got away. I switch my size from two feet tall to something small and gray. Your Easter spirit is so strong, you see me right away. Look at him. Can you see him? If you can see him, it must mean you have really strong Easter spirit. But he had to go from bigger to smaller, try to get through these holes and get out of those traps and so he can't be seen. I leave so many Easter treats, no children will be sad. But when they see I've escaped, they'll all be hopping mad. Uh-oh. But that does look good, doesn't it? Some chocolate bunnies in the tree. Some Easter eggs. Looks like a nice treat. The Bunny Tumbler 2.0 sure takes me for a spin. But I've got lucky rabbit's feet. And I know I'll always win. So out he goes.
with all the treats delivered to children big and small, I've got one special stop to make to my favorite kid of all. Hmm, I wonder who that is. Could it be you? See you next year. The end. Now wasn't that a fun story? I surely enjoyed it. It's all kinds of ways that children are trying to figure out how to catch an Easter bunny. Building all kinds of traps. Now maybe, just maybe, you could be the clever one to finally do it. So maybe you could take out some paper and some crayons, maybe get a little sketch going and try to figure out a way to catch the Easter Bunny. Good luck. Well, it's been lots of fun reading with you. Y'all all take care. I miss you all very much. I can't wait for us all to be back at school. But until that time, y'all have a very happy Easter and stay safe. Love you lots. Good night.